ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel wwe2k20 is out for your boy we're about to start the wwe2k20 my career chapter one but big shout out to 2k for giving me the game early so that i can bring you guys this fire content now of course you guys saw um in my pre-release footage that i wasn't talking in the other my career trailer that's because i wanted you guys to be able to hear the gameplay the commentary and all that but now the my career is starting you're gonna hear your boy do some commentary you love to see your peoples on the right hand side uh not have some lighting so that's pretty cool we got brendan collins and then we have clara lee i'll get into that name in a little bit but let's go ahead and start the my career mode red was one of the toughest opponents i ever faced no matter how hard i hit her which was pretty hard she never backed down sorry it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense don't get me wrong i'm honored to do this but i never thought it would happen so soon for red or her best friend trey wherever red went trey was there too and tonight's no different they truly are a package deal they always had each other's backs and that was certainly the case when i faced off against red in the money in the bank ladder match all right so here oh can you look at ronda rousey please anyways guys we are here with the my career this is gonna be a lot of fun i'm very excited i one thing i do like i do like how this my career starts with money in the bank basically um i won't i won't spoil it just in case you were trying to stay away from spoilers you know from that early release footage so i won't say what happens in this first hour i only played the first hour of my career when i went out to vegas so after uh after we get to a certain point i won't know what's happening everything else will be a surprise for me and i'm very excited but as you see we have this character called clara lee now of course i've never had a female you know my player the only person i've ever had in these games was uh brandon collins and then cameron collins so it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting you know playing as a female i think this is gonna be really dope and uh, I'm, I'm actually excited. Now, the name Clara Lee, for those who don't know, I, I'd assume many of you don't know, uh, Clara is the is my mom's first name, and then Lee is my mom's middle name. And I thought it sounded like a good wrestling name, so that is what we went with, because I didn't, I was, I had a different idea in mind, and then I figured out later on that the, these two characters are gonna be friends and not related or in a relationship or any of that, so I was like, all right, I'll just pick something else. Um, unfortunately, this game, for whatever reason, doesn't have the name Clara in it, or at least when I, um, at least when I first got it, they don't have the name Clara, and they don't have uh, whatever the other name I was going to choose in here. So, I had to go with the something goddess or something. It's some kind of weird nickname, but it is what it is. Anyways, this cutscene where the ladders appear out of nowhere. <laughs> I do like this cutscene though. We got Charlotte, Shayna, Zelina, Bianca. They're all climbing. They all want that money in the bank briefcase. Oh, but look. Ronda and Red. I kind of like that. They could be a tag team down the line. Who knows? <laughs> that, that, that was a pretty dope cutscene. I can't lie to y'all. But look, I'm about to come with the smoke to Ronda Rousey right here. Oh. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. So I got, I was able to, uh, I got the game, uh, I think I, a couple days ago. I think I got it on Thursday, I think. Um, so I already made the move sets, I already made the entrances. I did all that. So now I'm able to just play the game in peace. Oh, wait, Ronda reversed that? Okay. I see you, Rousey. I see you. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody gotta get round. Uh, somebody gotta get Ronda. Uh, I'm, I'm back up. I'm back up. Oh, we run so slow. Excuse me. Thank you. I was, I was about to start swing. Excuse me. There we go. Ronda, you suck at this, Ronda. <laughs> you, you suck. At, I, I could really just push this ladder down. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just, let me just push the ladder down. She, she ain't going nowhere. She, she ain't getting that briefcase. Get on down. Get on down. I wish there was a different animation for that. That, that's just me being picky though. It's, all, it's been the same for a little bit. We can only wish. Also, guys, I apologize if I sound sickly. It's because I am getting over this cold right now. What's my next objective? Irish, Irish whip. I did not want to grab Shayna Baszler. Really didn't. 
I don't even know why that happened. I didn't even press the target button. Look, I know the controls are different, but I didn't do that. Hold up. Ooh, a couple of strikes. I got to turn the commentary back up a little bit, at least for these My Career videos. It's all good, though. Ronda, ooh, with the quick jabs. All right. Ooh, into the corner. Is that it? Was that the cutscene? Oh, wait, Zelina. I forgot about I forgot about this, uh, the first cutscenes already, to be very honest. I wasn't paying too much attention at the playtest. I do remember this part, though. Zelina climbing up. And so is Clara Lee. But this man, Andrade, getting involved in my business. This man. You hate to see it, but look at that. The boy, Brandon Collins, up in here, getting Andrade out of here. You like that attire? Y'all like that attire? Because I do. <laughs> it's a, it's a nice, nice little simple attire. But look at Red up top fighting. I don't know what to call this person. Should I, should I just call him Red and Trey? I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. I can't wait until images can get uploaded so I can upload my face textures and stuff like that. She's trying to reach for that. Where's the briefcase? Oh, 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 I forgot. I was about to be like, where's the briefcase at? I forgot Rhonda comes up and puts an arm bar on the ladder. That's crazy. That is insane. Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap? Ladies and gentlemen, she's not because you know why? This match just ends here for whatever reason. Are we going to get back to it? Who knows? I really hope so. Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair. The theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable magnet, right? Just get it out of there. No one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it, and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. That's tough. She didn't even, she didn't even have to say all that, man. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success. Oh, you love to see the Everything dreads going through the notebook. Wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Was that the dude from 2K19? In the back? Did y'all see that? Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced. So it would be an honor to appear in one. Ha. Ever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. 
Clever. What are you oh. Doing? What doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Funny. You can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure. Become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What? Like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get your revenge. Shout out to Bobby Lashley and Pete Dunn in the background, by the way. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this part of the uh, of the my career? I thought when I played it at the playtest, I thought it was really interesting because you get to see what um, what Red's thinking, basically. What, what, what's envisioning in her mind? when she's fighting Brooklyn Von Braun. <laughs> she she envisioned her fight at the uh, at the Raw is War arena, which is interesting to me. I kind of would have preferred, this is, this is just me wishing. It doesn't really matter too much, but I kind of would have preferred if they would have just, oh, all right, love to see that. Um, I kind of would have preferred if they would have just scrapped in the in the lunchroom. That would have been hilarious. This makes more sense, of course. You know, it is a wrestling game. We're going to be in a wrestling arena. But I would have lost my mind if we were just scrapping in the cafeteria with that true move on the table and the dreads going through the notebook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, hey, can we, can we talk about some of these goals that uh, Red and Trey have? I like how um, Red's goals are more realistic or they make more sense and homeboy he want to i mean get into action movies action movie is not that bad but he says i want to i want to what, what did he say he said he wanted an action figure which uh, understandable he wanted to be in an action movie um I, I think i think he was the one that said dance off like chief what about what about being a wwe champion or you know team it up with somebody you like i don't know this man this man why all right brooklyn von Braun, you gotta chill I'm the one that's supposed to be getting you the red health, not the other way around. I can't wait till I get my attributes up. That is going to be a thing of beauty. Hold up. We're going we gonna to get Brooklyn up. Oh, wait, wait. I don't remember my own moveset. Hold up. Oh, I forgot I put this on. I think I made um, I made Clara Lee a, um, a cruiserweight, I believe. And I think I made Brandon a striker. I can't wait. Oh, look at that backflip. Oh, but Brooklyn sends your boy, oh, excuse me, your girl, over the top rope. I can't wait to start playing as Brandon. I'm not going to lie. The move set I made for him is super sick, though. Hold on. What, Brooklyn, why are you bringing me over here? What's the point? Tell me right now. What? What's the reason? Get off me. Look at this. Look at this. Bam. Oh, lower back. Right on that ramp. Wait, look at the way look at the way the ref counts. Count, please. Oh no, he didn't get to five. Okay, so something I noticed about this game, when the ref counts, he puts up both hands to count. So instead of doing just a one count, it'll look like two. Oh, you tried it, Brooklyn. You really tried that foolishness. Get out of my ring with that. Ooh, and this momentum is going slow as well. When I get these attributes up, this is gonna be a different story. Clara Lee is gonna be a dominant performer do you understand me do you understand oh big drop kick right to the face hold on what's this what are we doing a little head scissors situation bringing the elbows right in the middle of the eyes you know what i'm saying guys let me know if you are excited to be playing uh you know wwe oh get out of my ring girl but yeah let me know in the comment section below are you guys excited to be playing wwe 2k20 soon because i'm not gonna lie i'm very excited for the my career I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of wacky stuff. Uh, strike Brooklyn while standing in the ring. All right, here we go. Let me get... Oh, she reversed it. She reversed it. Legend difficulty. I see you out here reversing everything. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Get off me. Big strike. Oh, she pushed it off. Oh, all right. Right to the back. She is not going to have no open. Oh, the lunch tray. Oh, and she slipped. Hate to see that. She done goofed. She done goofed. Hold up. Going to the top. Moonsault. Bam. It connects. Kind of landing on the knees a little bit. Cover. Come on, ref. One, two, three. Clara Lee gets the W. 
too bad that it was only in her dreams. <laughs> this man said, you make fun of Red, you pay dearly. I do, I do appreciate the commentary lines about how like this match is specifically about what's happening and not them just calling spots. That's really dope to me. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. Dog. What is wrong with you? That was Dad, awful. Deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. Ah! I've never rooted for a bully so much in my life. <laughs> the this happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? For someone that's making fun of wrestling, she sure does know a lot about it. <laughs> and you hate to see homeboy just slipping. Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> This girl really explained the joke. She killed her own joke. How is she the bully? How is she the lead bully? I don't understand. <laughs> and why are there so many little kids? I thought this was high school. Look at the background. There are so many little kids. <laughs> that could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait. That's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not going to do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. See, it's the kids from 2K19. I did a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I knew I wasn't tripping. I think you need to read the letter again. Yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right though. You got a second chance in life and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. That is something I really did appreciate about the career this year. It's like it's like more of like a in-depth story. Like he was just talking about like basically how he's adopted. I think that's a little cool touch to the story that usually we wouldn't see from these games. So I really appreciate that from 2K this year. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> No, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is 16339. See, I got the good memory. I already know. Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. 
I wonder if you click any of the other combinations, if it'll actually open it. All alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. See, I thought that was interesting. I was talking about that for a little bit in my previous videos. How like they just dropped little Easter eggs about like Rock becoming president because there was like the thing a while ago of Rock running for president, and then like they brought up Kane because he's like the mayor of Tennessee or something like that. I don't know where Kane is the mayor at, but you get me. I I, I think that's a really cool touch. I really like that. You are now in a My Career Hub. Use L to cycle through people you can talk to or objects you can interact with. Press X to select the person or thing you want to interact with. New in WW2K20, press square to swap between your uh, female or male My Player's phone. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, triangle will open up the phone menu where you can browse messages and upgrade your My Players. My Career Hub as well. This is the same, same My Career Hub. An icon in the top left corner will tell you that your selected My Player has a uh, new voice or text messages your female and male my player will receive different messages so make sure to check both of their phones uh go to your phone menus by pressing triangle select messages to view your latest messages uh an icon in the top left corner indicates that you have a new podcast episodes available listen to the latest podcast to hear what people are saying about your my player's careers to do this go to triangle yada 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 that's actually pretty interesting i actually did not read that last time um so i just switched over to my female my player so let's give this a look here um do we have any oh we do have messages we have a message from candice loray oh lucky to have been a part of your amazing career enjoy your moment in the spotlight then we got one from trish stratus congrats and welcome to the club sarah amato can't wait to see you honored tonight you deserve it i have no clue who that is um all right let's swap to brandon and let's see what he has uh, we got one from Ronda Rousey. My speech is ready. Is yours expecting to be entertained? Oh, Ronda Rousey hitting up my phone. Oh, hold up now. And then we got one from The Rock. Do you think uh, you impressed the most election fighting president? In the oh, wait. This is what this is what we read in the in the hotel. All right. Anyways, we can talk to AJ Styles. We can talk to Natalia, or we can leave the lobby. Let's see what AJ Styles I has to say. I can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah, but thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. I love that line for so many reasons. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. See, all right, I played the match in, uh, in my pre-release footage, so I'm not going to play it here, and I'm also kind of interested to see what they say when I don't play the match. So I'd love to reminisce some more, but I should get going since my jaw barometer is telling me it's about to sprinkle. Good seeing you, AJ. All right, that was pretty interesting. Um, I'm just going to keep it a buck. Hold on. I just on. wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't like Natalia enough to to play this match. I I bet she's a great person, but her matches be boring. So I'm just gonna see what they have to say to each other and move on. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Wait. So this match would be a backstage brawl? Hold up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better? The title. You saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. Hold up. I did not know that it was going to be a backstage brawl. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm not going to play it. Only reason is because with a backstage brawl, sometimes some shenanigans be happening. And it might take forever, and I might have to redo it. So I'm going to do the smart thing and not play. We all said some crazy stuff over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. And plus, backstage brawls in these games 
are not great. So I'm just gonna pass. Anyways, let's go to the lobby. Hey, it's X Pac. Just keep walking. We don't have time. We always have time for X Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey, Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks. I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. I'm gonna try that. Enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Get him out of here. Anyway, the door. Get out we now. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then. No offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. Hey, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're going to help me get there. Deal? Got it. You're going to miss oh. me so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. I, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up, and... Going off to college, I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. Shout out to 2K for promoting interracial couples. You love to see it. We, I love the diversity. Thank you, 2K. You know, I am a man. All right, let me stop talking. <laughs> Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? You put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. I see what you did there. That was clever. I like it. Respect. All right, guys. So the plan is to uh, I'm going to play all the way to where I left off in the uh, pre-release footage so that in the next episode that I can just keep, you know, going from where I left off. It'll be new content, yada, yada, yada. So let's continue with the my career. One thing I did not do was click on Red's name right here. I just went to keep driving to Calgary. So I do want to see what will happen when we click on Red's name. So let's check that out. All right. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Ooh, that's a, 
great choice. Great, great choices here. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd honestly have to go with Bret Hart. I'd have to. Out of, out of those, I mean, they're all great, but I gotta go with Bret Hart. It'd be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? Oh, that was it? Are we... I think I think that was it for that part. All right. On with the road trip. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was going to put me in a match with him. I didn't actually... All right, well, now I know for next time. I don't actually want to fight Bret Hart. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was not aware of this. One thing I am confused about, why is every, like, dream match or so, or just a match in general so far, in the Raw's War Arena? <laughs> Put me on Monday Night Raw or something like that. I don't know. Oh, well, no, I just thought about it. It kind of makes sense because of, the, I guess, the time period. Well, no, they said something about NXT. So, never mind. I was about to say the time period. Yeah, that was not a thing yet. But, no, that's not the case because she mentioned NXT and WWE action movies. So, that is not the case. Anyways, as you see, we are breezing through this match. Look at this. Big knee to the face. Bret Hart is going to sleep, boy. Uh-uh. I don't need to see a replay, especially because they're slow as hell today. Anyways, cover. Hooked a leg to put Bret Hart away. Two and three. Good night to the excellence of execution. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> Hey there, I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello, uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using This man really just said eh? Is Bret home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Well, of course. So are you Bret's... A housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So, Brett's not home? No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens, like, once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, oh. don't look at my browser history. Oh. Hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Uh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. Maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea. They really went all the way to Canada to try and meet Bret Hart at a house that he more than likely doesn't live at. And you wonder why the woman is rude. <laughs> like, you can't... It, even if he did live there, you can't just be showing up at people's houses like that. Come on now. Respect the privacy. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. 
I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm. All right, so it is time for the mixed tag match. Um, that's actually pretty interesting. I obviously, when I was at the playtest, I wasn't paying attention too much. I was just kind of like talking to other people and just recording the game. So I didn't know that's how, you know, Red and Trey ended up getting to... Um, this school here to train um i didn't know that like they ended up just meeting this guy you know through i guess an article or something i don't know how they found out about him but yeah i, I didn't even know that but so that's pretty interesting also freaking el mago jr yeah look y'all know y'all know i love the boy el mago that is my dude i'm very 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 pleased that uh at least someone from um from the 2k19 series is here and also buzz and uh i forgot what, what was homeboy's name buzz and cole quinn yeah 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 yeah. that's what it was uh buzz and cole quinn have their own podcast i can't wait to hear that because you know they're gonna throw in some type of reference they better mention something about baron blade i that's also something i'm wondering too is baron blade gonna be in this year's my career maybe oh uh, well i was gonna say maybe he's ribby but i doubt it because <laughs> uh baron blade uh, he's a little thick in the gut and ribby uh was a little is a skinny little costume so who knows all right look at this brandon and el mago jr go all right that real cool thanks for stopping what what just happened why couldn't i hit him this, all right it is what it is this man hit me with the three amigos this man i see how it is mago okay and this man he gonna tie he gonna right back in right back in huh all right that's cool we got to get her to red health anyway i'm actually kind of glad that he tagged uh josie jane back in i wonder if we're gonna see these two back in career sometime that'd be pretty interesting i can't wait until we just get to nxt i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm excited about the indie run but i do just want to see what nxt is gonna be like in the main roster and stuff like that so let me know in the comment section below guys what what are you most excited for in this career are you excited to uh kind of explore the indies a bit or are you are you kind of just waiting till you get to the the main roster and stuff like that Ooh, all right big clothesline from josie jane respect Ooh, nice standing moonsault i see you out here i see you oh can reverse i gotta get used to that i do really like that reversal is now triangle i i find that to be a lot better but i do find myself pressing r2 still so i just i just got to get used to that we'll be all right oh big forearm hold up i wasn't expecting all that oh but josie with the reversal all right oh get out of here get out of here girl no ma'am no ma'am uh perform a grapple against josie jane while standing in the ring i can do that i can do that that is simple that is easy look at that gonna lift her up bring her back down oh that was a delayed sound tag made man tripping i can't tell if it's me that's delayed or if it's actually the game i think it might be the game i think i could be very wrong though mago jr but make the boy go to sleep get your feet up on the turnbuckle push off and roll backwards you can pin him like that come on there you go no come on brandon why you why they gotta make why they gotta make the male the doofus come on why can't we both just be intelligent human beings <laughs> that'd be nice that'd be beautiful actually this man tapped too this man actually tapped hate to see it we can't get a wwe like that all right. yeah you did good you did good catch your breath we'll get him next time all right you good guys come here we need to talk we in trouble specifically brandon is it about your disgusting ring mat because i feel like it's making me itch all over hey what was that for for playing to an imaginary crowd it cost you the match red great job keep it up remind me why i show up here every day to get tortured that's not torture if you're paying for it now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? 
Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, this Red's man. the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE like three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. Oh, damn. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm going to turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omelette. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch. Hate to see it. Sad times. <laughs> I like that one. I'm getting roasted I out here. To my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr. Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Oh, I'll snap. I don't know Forgot about, about that. Awesome part. Oh, so we unlocked an arena, too. We get the Riley Flash Wrestling Academy. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. All right, everybody, so I am going to wrap up this episode right here. This is exactly where we left off. I cannot wait to get more in depth with this story. I think uh, part two should be out later today, so be on the lookout. Actually, before we wrap up, let's check the messages. Um, Mom says, hey, what have you been up to? You've been very quiet lately, making me nervous. Josie James, sorry, can't get dinner tonight. I have plans with Mago Jr. Maybe next time? Are these, are this the, is this the male one or is this? red i can't tell mom i i just uh i know you just left but miss you already good luck at college we ain't going to college and that was for brandon so uh brandon uh maybe going out with josie jane hmm maybe anyways let's swap to clara lee let's see what she got uh josie jane heard you got uh on the winterfest show you only get one first match no pressure thanks josie appreciate you wrestling boots are us oh so she bought some wrestling boots with the tracking number. That's dope. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Go hamburger on that like button. And if you guys are excited for the next episode, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces. Now I'm giving you all of me.